you again, huh? Don't tell me. Our psychologist friend has run out of insect repellent again. Yes, he sent me out to pick up a new can. Word on the street is you've got some in stock. Well, I've got one, to be exact. I'll take it. Cool. Tell me something, though. What use does a robot psychologist have for insect repellent anyway? Well, let's just say it comes in very handy in the treatment of his patients. Something about those chemicals seems to interfere with our security matrix, blocking off our safeguards. It's effectively a truce serum for robots. Perfect for treating patients unconsciously, suppressing memories of childhood trauma and whatnot. A truce serum, huh? You robots are a strange bunch. Oh, you should hear the stuff his human patients bring up. You guys are the real freaks. Now, if I could only get hold of a rodent to take me back home. Something in between a mouse and a rabbit should do the trick. Hmm, like a squirrel or something? Were the adversaries, those? They're picky when it comes to their trees, though. They want them really tall, you know. In fact, I haven't seen any tree tall enough to attract squirrels around here. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if that Clute guy has made any progress since we last spoke. I have no idea why, but... Sometimes I think he used to look different somehow. Yeah, I would need something to carry him in. I can tell you've never tried to pick him up. This tiger has claws. The Cure, probably the best band in the world. I'm ready to call it an explant at this point. The Smiths, probably the best band in the world. Yeah, it was over optimistic of me to think those plant food sticks would bring the plant back to life. I'll just take them out. Another wonderful Smith. The Smiths, probably the best band in the world. Another wonderful Smith. Best mixer I've ever had. Oops, it fell over. Well, coffee was cold anyway. I would probably need a glass for that. There's usually a lot more dirty dishes around that thing. It's so cool to think that pipe goes all the way down to the sewers. There's nothing in the mixer to pick up. I would probably need a glass for that. Right, my studies. I wonder how much of this whole get Justin back thingy is just me procrastinating instead of going back to my studies. It 
it reads, Julie, Julie, don't be so cruelly. Come back to Justin, the one to put your trust in. It's cheesy, but it's Justin. Yeah, Oligarch enjoyed playing with this thing for all of five minutes or so. These little green sticks are supposed to help plants grow. They didn't do much for my plants at home, though. This thing can be used to connect pineapple USB devices to old school computers. One water coming up. Got it. That's not going to work. Sorry, doesn't work. I don't see how that could work. Hmm, looks like someone's broken into the doorway. Who would do such a thing? Whoa, that's a lot of coins glimmering at the bottom of that thing. Maybe I could make a wish too. Sure, I'll throw these in and make a wish. I'm not saying what the wish is though. I think the bottom of that thing just fell out. Don't mind me. I'm just going to have a look where all them coins might have ended up. I sure hope I didn't mess up too badly here. I can't really tell what's down there from over here. Julia, got a craving for some finals again? Not today. Just a load of those old-style adventure games. I know Justin and Mike the Bouncer are fans. Somehow, I think she would be confused getting a call from me. I heard she's right in the pause menu, though. Should her services be needed? It reads, Dayla's Hint Service, call for help. I get it, getting stuck in those types of games can be so frustrating. It reads, Genuine Jacobi's, it's finally time to dig up the past. That name reminds me of someone, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Not in the mood for a show, sorry. It's cool that some of those are still in working condition. If I remember the quality of VHS tapes, I'd better not. No way! Those things are so big that I won't have any room left in my jacket. Yeah, I've heard those things are coming back, but I'm more of a vinyl fan myself. Wow, that would be perfect for little oligarch. So, that pet carrier. Real beauty, am I right? I'll let it go for. One small bunch of monies! Oh, sorry, got a bit carried away. I don't know, that seems a bit much. I'll have you know that I've seen a lot of interest in that thing lately. I 
I think I can see water moving down there. Oh, and also a banana peel at the edge of a cliff. Did I remember to post that letter about getting Ollie insured? Yeah, I think I did. I know what you're thinking, but I didn't do that. And it sure ain't just in style. An earring with a hook. I wonder where the other one went. An air guitar contest. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. What's up, Mike the Bouncer? Hey, Jules. You haven't seen Justin around, have you? No, actually. I'm looking for him too, though. Next time you see Justin, tell him to return my copy of The Seventh Guest. It ain't cool to borrow something like that and then just disappear, you know? I'll tell him, Mike the Bouncer. Nah, that's just rubbish. It reads, Please report any suspicious caveman activity to QT40, brackets, not pronounced QT. You'll find me lurking in the shadows. Sure, I like him. Not quite my size, though. Again, I don't share your fascination with rubbish. Uh-oh. I can't see much from here. I can't reach that. That's not gonna work. So that's where the door is. I probably shouldn't walk away with it. It would be kind of rude to the other customers. I know I should leave the salt for the other customers. It's just I know from experience that the chef here oversalts everything anyway. It's probably meant for all customers though, but now I know where it is, should I need any. Hey, B. Hey, Jules. So, tell me, who was that mechanical dude I saw you with earlier? Oh, don't get me started, B. It's been a long day. Wow, I like these much better than the flat ones. You can cram way more magic into a cube than you can into a flat screen. And there's always music in the air. Poetry slam, huh? Count me in. Doubtful. You're saying you've got some good material? I'm not about to give away the prize of one small bunch of monies to just anyone, you know. Well, the poem I carry around may not be dynamite, but... Much as I thought, Come back when you're packing some heat, poetically speaking. Hi, Clute. Hey, Julia. Taking a break from your studies? Well, actually, I'm now ready to help get Justin back. Wow, that's great. Welcome to the co-op. If you have any items you need to pass along, I know a way. Ah, got it. So, what have you been up to lately? Made any progress? Well... 
I've done stuff. Various kinds of stuff. But we still haven't been able to get Justin back. And obviously, I'm still stuck in this time. No worries. I'm sure we'll be able to sort things out somehow. The plaque reads, Baldrus Romanticus, the oldest romantic stone carving known to man. Its origin remains a mystery to this day. Holy moly. I'm starting to believe Justin actually did travel back in time. Hold on, Justin. I'm on my way. Caution, slippery when wet. Keep floor dry at all times. Yep, the floor is looking dry, all right. Looks totally dry. Employees only. Mm-hmm, and you're not one. Hey there, little fella. Pathetic. Hi there. This is Lenny speaking. Could someone please tell the customer in aisle one not to bother the stop? Thank you. Huh, nice. Note says, fill the tip jar. I'm not so desperate for change that I'm gonna steal from the tip jar. Looks like the kid is learning to program in Python. He's working on a file called agent.py. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Can't you see I'm busy? Nothing in there. That thing is stuck. So these are still legal, huh? Maybe if I had a baseball bat or something. Nah, not a good idea. Nothing in there. I bet that's where you put empty cans to be recycled. Hmm, it reads, have you seen my caveman buddy? We are great chums. If so, Please report to QT40, brackets, not pronounced QT. You'll find me lurking in the shadows. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. It hurts my eyes just to look at them. I'm pretty sure it's for decoration only. You would so not say that if you worked here, Jules. Hi, Oliver. Good to see you back, Jules. What happened to all your barber stuff? Well, this funny-looking guy came by. Well, it's a long story. How long have you been working on that customer? Hey, you know me, Jules. I'm a perfectionist. I think my cyanide 300 hair dye needs a refill. I've got you covered, Jules. I've been keeping a bottle for you right there by the mirror. Talk to you later. Later, Jules. Hey there, how's it going? 
she's fast asleep. Enjoy, Julia. That bottle should tide you over until your next appointment. Great. Thank you, Oliver. Nah, there's some bad blood between me and that elevator. Things got kind of ugly last time around. Hey, I'm a cat owner. We don't need that stuff. Dogs, huh? Yep. Gotta love them. I suppose. Nah, oligarch always looks at me funny when I come home smelling of dogs. It's empty. The soil looks kind of barren. But there's nothing growing there. You're supposed to use these things a good while after you plant them. Looks kind of scary down there. I think I'm good right here. Hey, Julia. Hey, Clute. I like the cure, too. Hmm. How did you know I like the cure? I... I guess you must have told me. So, anyway... I have a message for you. Oh, from Justin. No, actually, it's from Cutie. Who? You know, QT40, robotic guy, always threatening to destroy everyone. Oh, that guy. Yeah. He wonders if you would be interested in going on another date. He said he'll be waiting for you in the park as soon as he could get hold of a newspaper. Hmm. That might actually be interesting. If you and I work together, Maybe we can come up with a way to get him to spill the beans on how to get Justin home. Ah, I like it. Okay. Gotta remember to play it a real cool and nonchalant when Julia shows up. Cool and nonchalant. That's the ticket. Boy, I'm so nervous that I'm going to have to temporarily downclock my CPU a couple of hertz. Oh, before you leave, could I ask a favor? What's up? I've got this patient, a dino friend of mine. He's suffering from a bad case of constipation. 
Could you give him this brew for me? It should clear things right up. Will it be as effective as the strange brew? <sighs> now, I'm not sure where he's at, but he shouldn't be too hard to find. No worries. I'll take care of it. I hope it doesn't catch a cold. Well, thank keep it. It looks very occupied. Uh, excuse me in there. I don't mean to disturb you or anything. But Abraxas gave me this brew of prune juice. I'm thinking maybe it's for you? So, maybe if I leave it by the door and just walk away for a while? Yeah. Let's try that. Okay? Looks like the dinos also used to argue about whether the tip should be over or under and settled on a compromise. The middle. Nah, I would hate for the next person to not have any toilet paper. I'd rather not, to be honest. I can tell by the smell that thing isn't empty. Do I really need that stuff? If so, I'm not picking it up with my bare hands. I can tell you that much. Sure. I just hope it'll be worth it. I tightened up that bag real good. I am not using that thing. That is a straight-up no. I am not using that thing. That is a straight-up no. I am not using that thing. That is a straight-up no. Agent QP43. Hey, want to stick around for a while? No? I guess not. Hi, Clute. Hey, Julia. Uh, hi there. What's that now? I'm kind of busy reading my newspaper here. 
being a man of the world and all that. Okay. Ah, Julia, it's you. I understand you had your heart set on a date, yeah? Let me stop you right there, Julia. I'm afraid a date just isn't doable at the moment. I'm a busy man, you know. Oh. Oh, yes. But I'll put you on the list. My receptionist will get in touch with you as soon as there's an opening in my romantic calendar. But Clute said you wanted to see me. Sorry, I'm not at a liberty to divulge any information about my fellow agents. Say that again. <gasps> I have no comments regarding Agent KLO-1. Can we move on? I don't know, Julia. This guy seems quite confused about stuff. Probably not a reliable source for anything, really. So what's happening with Justin? Justin's whereabouts are classified information. Maybe you're not trusted with any of the top secret stuff. I'll have you know that I'm a special agent of the Pythonic Empire. And so I'm privy to a whole load of juicy Empire secrets. Prove it. Spill them. I think you underestimate the prowess of our security routines. That newspaper is really cool, QT40. Found it. You know what's even cooler than flipping through a newspaper, though? No such thing. I study under Ruthless himself, you know. Okay, so what's cooler then? Well, what's cooler than reading a newspaper is... Cool one-liners about blowing things up. Yes, those are cool. But newspapers and cool one-liners aren't necessarily mutually exclusive now, are they? This conversation is over. <laughs> Aced it. Hi, Clute. Hey, Julia. So, what's all this about, KL01? Sorry, Julia, I didn't quite catch that. That stuff that the agent mentioned, calling you KL01 and all that. It's the darndest thing, Julia. There's so much noise about that I couldn't quite make out the last thing you said. Interesting. Very interesting. You ask the impossible. I can't make head nor tail of how to combine these items. You ask the impossible. I can't make head nor tail of how to combine these items. Hmm, some sort of computer stick gizmo, I guess. Hey, cutie. I've told you a hundred times, it's QT40, KLO1. Do you mind, KLO1? I'm here to talk to Julia. Is there anything I can do to get you to spill the beans on Justin? <sighs> Divulge Empire business? I think not. And KLO1, will you please move along? You're totally cramping my style in front of Julia. Boom, 
shakalak. One pineapple USB stick, ready to be used with old school computers. Back for another glimpse, eh? Well, I can't share blame you, really. You know what's even cooler than flipping through a newspaper, though? Being a robotic agent from the future. Sorry, Battery will not move you up on the list, Julia. This conversation is over. <laughs> Still got it. Back for another glimpse, eh? Well, I can't share blame you, really. You know what's even cooler than flipping through a newspaper, though? Having one, but not actually reading it. Hmm. Like actually having one, but being too cool to even read it? Exactly. Oh, I never read them, Michelle. Maybe you're not trusted with any of the top-secret stuff. Spill him. I think you underestimate the prowess of our security routines. Talk to you later. <laughs> Aced it. Hey, cutie. I've told you a hundred times. Do you mind, KLO-1? I'm here. Is there anything I can do to... And KLO-1, would you please... Yep, the computer stick contraption fits nicely in the computer slot. I think it's probably chock full of nasty viruses at this point. Welcome back, Special Agent QP-43. Dr. DR-22 will see you in his office now. Step right in. Dr. DR-22, I presume? Oh, you're back, Special Agent QP-43. I am? I mean... Oh, yes. I'm back. How do you like my new human disguise? Impressive. Now, on the divan, please. I prefer to stand, if that's all right with you. Would you now? Well, I'd prefer it if you would lie down. On the divan. Haven't you got any ink blots you want me to look at? The old Rorschach test, you mean? Those are for actual humans, you know. And usually used only to determine if the patient is actually crazy enough to pay for looking at doodles. Oh. Sure thing, Doc. Hmm. What was that sound I just heard? 
Oh, just a little insect repellent. I find it prevents my clients from consciously or unconsciously repressing things. It smells kind of toxic, no? To humans, perhaps. Ah, uh, cool. So, first of all, I'm talking to QP43, am I not? Affirmative. I'm QP43. So, let me guess. You want me to tell you about my motherboard, right? Not really. I mean, we do already know each other. Oh, right. So tell me, how is the revenge on your brother's murderer coming along? Oh, uh, fine, fine. But you haven't caught him yet, then? No, not quite yet, I'm afraid. I hope you find him soon. From what you told me of him during our last session, that man must be one shit individual. I suppose. Unless the culprit didn't have a choice. Compassion? That is most interesting. I fear we might be looking at some twisted algorithms mucking about in that matrix of yours, QP43. Oh dear. Oh yes, some very twisted algorithms indeed. In any event, it would not be uncommon for the brother of such a victim to be burning with rage, lusting for revenge, yes? Indeed. So much so that I have actually given my revenge its own name. Oh, that's most interesting. What name did you give your revenge? I call it Ruthless Unbound. A most fitting name, QP43. I hear your algorithms are running very smoothly indeed. In fact, you may rise up now, QP43. Okay then, all systems normal again. All good, DR-22? Excellent. Now walk out the door and face the world, Special Agent. I'll be here if you need to talk. Oh, and should you be in the mood for some self-medication, feel free to borrow my insect repellent. Really? It won't put you out? No worries. I have a connect downtown. Nice. What kind of IT support technician would I be if I couldn't take care of a few bugs? Okay, the gloves just went from kind of sticky to insanely super sticky. Secret level unlocked.
Oh, boy. I've got a lot of feelings about that thing. None of them good. I swear that thing looks exactly like my father's old hi-fi system. A double cassette deck and tuner. It's not a very friendly looking apparatus. Hmm. That monitor shows the projected past traces of the next person to be chrono wiped. As you can see there, not the trace. Hmm. That monitor shows the projected future traces of the next person to be chrono wiped. Again, not a trace. <clears throat> Status report, please. Ah, there you are, QP43. Congratulations on your cunning disguise. For a while there, I was afraid you'd forgotten how to access the secret floor. Pfft. We special agents know our stuff. Of course. And you will be pleased to hear that no one else has tried to gain entrance to room X. I just changed the password to a super duper secure one. Glad to hear it. Oh, and that Chrono Viper session you ordered, is that still on? Actually, we decided to postpone that session, just for a short while. Gah! I mean, I see, sir. Of course, sir. So, is the Chrono Wiper all it's cracked up to be? Oh yes, the Chrono Viper 3, to be exact. Our best Chrono Viper yet. How's the battery time? Well, same as previous year's model, but it has tons of new features. Won't that just sap the power out of it more quickly? Yep. Our best Chrono Viper yet. Can this thing really wipe out every trace of someone's existence? From any timeline, in any universe, yes. Impressive. We don't call it the Pythonic Pride for nothing, sir. Listen, I have a proposition for you. Should I ever end up in that thing? What? Why would an agent of the Pythonic Empire wind up in the Chrono Viper? That's ludicrous. Well, most probably due to some perfectly innocent misunderstanding. Or perhaps through some twisted plot by infiltrators trying to take down the Empire from within. Go on. So, if that should happen, I will tell you a secret word. Something that will let you know it's me. So you can set me free, okay? Oh, a secret word. Intriguing. So what is it then? Okay. So the secret word is... Goromek. Okay. Got it. You can rely on me, Special Agent QP43. I will not let you down. Much appreciated, fellow Pythonian. Tell me more about Room X. Oh, we shouldn't speak about it out loud. It's so secret, I can hardly even acknowledge that I'm the one responsible for the security around Room X. But yes, I am entrusted with the safety of the most secret room in the Empire. There's no denying it. Carry on. Yes, sir. Immediately, sir. Whoa, what was that? Oh, that was just some moisture-displacing spray. I'm giving everyone a spray to make sure we're all running at maximum performance. All part of the new maintenance plan you might have heard about. I see. Thank you. What an exhilarating feeling. <clears throat> Status report, please. Just let me know when you need me to fire up the Chrono Viper, sir. Tell me more about Room X. Oh, we shouldn't speak about it out loud. It's so secret I can hardly even acknowledge that I'm the one responsible for the security around Room X. But yes, I am entrusted with the safety of the most secret room in the...
Carry on. Yes, sir. Immediately, sir. Hmm. It seems to require a passphrase to be opened. Ken sent me. No luck. I can't see what's behind that door. Hey, Julia, is that a gift? Trying to skip ahead in my romantic calendar, eh? I'm afraid that wouldn't be fair to my other shooters now, would it? <laughs> Still got it. Well, I was thinking maybe you'd like some cologne for your date. Oh. Good thinking, Carol. Hook me up. Hmm. What a strange sensation. I feel uh, different somehow. Yep, it's a powerful cologne. Yeah, I can feel that. Hey, cutie. Hey, KLO-1. You know, for some reason I feel I want to open myself up somehow. Especially to Julia. Oh, Julia, I feel a need to tell you that I'm feeling extremely nervous. Maybe you're not trusted with any of the top secret stuff. Spill him. Okay, I guess I'm about to, actually. So, there's four of them. Secret One, the project name for the ongoing security operation regarding time travelers, is Operation Chipmunk. Secret Two, how to access the top secret laboratory floor. Oh, the secret floor. I hear it holds the most cutting-edge technology and the most prized possessions of the Empire. Access to it is slightly above my clearance level, but when people go there, I notice that there's always a smell of either beeswax or sap in the air. Secret 3. Standard Pythonic Security Code. 4841. Updated yearly. Secret 4. Password to enter Room X. Error. Clearance level failed. Talk to you later. Ah, oh, it felt good to get all that off my chest. There's no longer any need to. <clears throat> Status report, please. Just let me know when you need me to fire up the Chrono Viper, sir. I seem to have forgotten the passphrase for Room X. Oh? So, do you have it? I do, and surprisingly, I feel I'm about to spill the beans about it. Go on. You mustn't laugh, though. It's a bit embarrassing, see? I got a bit hooked on this old TV series. Well, addicted, really. I have been seeing DR-22 about it, as a matter of fact. Go on. 
The cash phrase is Lorelei. Now you promise not to laugh. Hey, I don't judge my fellow Pythonians. Lorelei. Hmm. It reads, Room X, Top Secret Inventory. 1. Priceless 8-bit Maniac Mansion game cartridge. 2. Suspicious Old World artifact allegedly used to create those tall green oxygen thingies. I can't explain it, but I feel some kind of connection to that thing. Fascinating. Hmm. I guess they really don't want anyone to get to whatever is behind those lasers. Yeah, I would need something to reflect away those laser beams. Okay, maybe using both of these mirrors I could reflect the lasers, somehow. Piece of cake! An acorn. I bet this thing could turn into a huge tree given time. That's a cool idea, but the soil doesn't look fertile enough for anything to grow. Okay, the soil looks a lot more fertile now. Okay, the acorn has been planted. I guess now we play the waiting game. Has that tree always been there? The soil looks kind of barren. Okay, I put the whole lot down. That should keep it healthy for a good long while. I gave it some plant food. I'm not sure I can do much more. got some more sunflower for me that stuff was the bomb sorry no bummer 
So, what kind of floral bliss are you looking for? Hmm. Later, dude. Later. Whoa! A squirrel! Attracted by the height of the oak tree, no doubt. Just as I planned all along. Of course. Boom! That's what I call a tall, massive, well-nourished tree. Yeah, not sure how to reach it, though. Okay, let's give it a shot. Hey, I got it. Huh. What? I don't know, it just seemed surprisingly easy, no? Why? Why would it be any harder? No reason, just saying. Don't worry about him, little squirrel. I haven't had much luck with rodents so far but I'm gonna take really good care of you. Give you a proper name and everything. I'm gonna call you Sam. Little Sam Squirrel. I promise to keep you safe, little Sam Squirrel. Oops. Called it. I wonder where little Sam Squirrel went off to. I sure hope he's gonna be all right. I could have sworn that ventilation hatch was closed earlier. Let's find out what's going on. Uh-oh. Sounds like I set off an alarm or something. Which is surprising, given my graceful cat-like entrance. Oh dear, little Sammy Squirrel's gotten stuck up there. Tempting. But I should probably find a way to turn off that alarm before I go messing about with any big red buttons. That's little Sam Squirrel. I'd better be really careful so he doesn't hurt himself up there. Maybe I could throw something into it. Nothing in there. The screen reads, enter code or suffer the consequences.
wrong code. You mentioned a standard security code. How are those updated? Well, we update it yearly and according to a pretty ingenious algorithm, adding one to the previous year's code. You mentioned a standard security code. How are those updated? Well, we update it yearly and according to a pretty ingenious algorithm, adding one to the previous year's code. Hey, cutie. Hey, KLO-1. You know, for some reason I feel I want to open myself up somehow. Especially to Julia. It says the old robotics factory was abandoned in the year 7994. Stay out or suffer the consequences. Hmm. The real QP43 told me that the current year was 8021. This place has been closed for 27 years. did the trick. It says alarm status offline. doesn't seem to work. Hmm, maybe a spanner in the works, or a wrench in the gears, as it were. Maybe I could throw something into it. Okay. Let's hope for the best. That's horrible. Little Sam Squirrel got totally squashed by those piston thingies. If only he had some sort of protection. While I might throw stuff down the funnel, I'm not gonna throw stuff at little Sammy Squirrel.
Let's see if this little helmet might help little Sam out. That's horrible. Little Sam Squirrel got burnt to a crisp. If only he had something to take out that fire. One water coming right up. Nah. Sure thing. Let me just leave this dungeon first. Sure thing. Let me just leave this dungeon first. Okay, one pair of bellows full of water coming right up. Okay, let's see if these bellows full of water might put out that fire. Boom! Little Sam Squirrel is in the bin. Come here, Little Sam Squirrel. I know I had some bad luck with these rodents in the past, but I know Sam the Squirrel is going to take me home to Julia.
the game is up, QP43. Or should I say... Just... Oh, no. A close talker. And also... What? You guys are no longer fooled by the name tag? We saw through that admittedly clever deception some time ago. Oh. What tipped you off? Your general lack of ruthlessness. It was most disturbing for your co-workers to be exposed to. Oh, sorry about that. Yuck! There it is again! Ah! 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 Will you stop being so unbearably melodramatic and in the presence of the Patriarch himself? The Patriarch is here? We do have that honor, yes. One Patriarch present. Welcome, Justin, to the successful conclusion of Operation Chipmunk. We've been monitoring your steps for quite a while now. And much as I anticipated, you walked right into the trap. Heck, you even fell for that acorn thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Clever. I feel I must point out, though, that chipmunks and squirrels are totally not the same animal. Silence, you! Uh, look, I don't suppose we could all just sit down and talk this thing over, could we? Not Likely. We've been waiting patiently to try out the latest Chrono, what you may call it. The Chrono Viper 3, sure. Yeah, that thing. A wiping session? Yep, the lab rats speak very highly of this new model. It will wipe out any trace of you. From any timeline? Check. In any universe. And mate. What do you have to say about that, chump? Are you sure you've considered all possible repercussions of this wiping session? What? What do you mean? I mean, maybe this wiping session could have some unexpected side effects or whatever? See, that's the best thing. This new model takes care of all the brainy science stuff. The patented Recursive Flux technology used in Model 3 does indeed protect against any temporal conundrums and or eventualities, sure. Patriarch 1, chump to be wiped out, nil. It's go time! Yes, the recursive flux matrices just need a little time before they're fully initialized. Pythonic machinery does tend to require a surprising amount of initialization time, no? Oh, I can't wait for that snarky remark to be wiped out. Bring it on! Hmm. What's with all those holes in your body armor? That's just for ventilation purposes. Oh, come on, Chrono Thingy. I can't wait to wipe this chump out! Yeah. A bit tied up at the moment. Okay. So, I'm a bit indisposed at the moment. You know what really grinds my gears? The warm-up time of Pythonic technology. Am I right? Oh, come on. Can we wipe this jump out already? So, you guys won't even remember having this wiping session after it's over. Well, we always know that we just wiped someone, but we will have no idea of who that someone was. It's a bit like knowing you had lunch earlier, but you can't quite remember what you actually ate. Huh. Interesting metaphor. Psst. Lab guy, I have something to tell you. Oh, you have some last words. Sure, just keep in mind that our memory of them will soon be wiped out anyway. Even so, let me just say... Doramek! That phrase does ring a bell. 
Oh, I know. It's an Agent Ruthless thing, right? No, wait, don't tell me. It's the name of his robotic cat, right? Hey, thanks for reminding me of that cool robotic cat. They're totally the coolest last words I've heard in a while. Can we move on, please? Gah, this chump needs to go! I don't suppose you guys know what happens to people after they've been wiped, right? Sorry, we don't really mess about with the metaphysical stuff. Oh, come on, Chrono Thingy. I can't wait to wipe this chump out! I don't suppose you guys know what... Sorry, we don't really mess up. Oh, come on. Can we wipe this chump out already? This is Lenny speaking. If someone could stop coding AI robots and instead divert their attention to their actual job for a while, that would be great. Thank you. Gah, I'll never get the hang of AI programming while maintaining this dreary job. Maybe I could convince Larry to hire an extra shop assistant to take over some of these menial tasks. Yes, that should give me ample time to enslave the universe. He looks kind of busy. Oh, it's you again, huh? Hmm. You wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? Because if you are, I happen to know that Lenny is taking on extra staff at the moment. You'll be working under me, though, so don't get any ideas, chump. I don't think so. Nah, I'd better keep it. Hi, Lenny. This is Lenny speaking. Could someone please tell the applicant looking to fill the position of junior shop assistant that a proper job application is in order? With at least one former or current employer given as a refer once. You think I have what it takes to work as a shop assistant? Challenge accepted. Thank you. Okay, I'll get cracking on that job application. It came out great. I even got a chance to reuse that old profile photo. Okay, the job application is all done. Now, if I could only fill up that color gizmo, I could get this thing printed. Hmm, black, empty. Cyan, empty. Magenta, empty. Yellow, empty. Empty pitch black pint of stout. Hey, the pitch black pint of stout looks like a perfect match for the black slot. Hmm. Black check. Cyan empty. Magenta empty. Yellow empty. I believe it's called a fuchsia flower. Lovely color. 
I believe the color is called magenta. The color gizmo requires its colors to be in liquid form. Nah, I'd better keep it. Hey, Oliver kept this bottle just for me. Besides, Clute might think it's a drink or something. Nice, the cyanide 300 hair dye looks like a perfect match for the cyan slot. The basis for any mixture is water. Water, a good start for any mix. Water and fuchsia, unmixed. Okay, let's mix it up. Nice, I'm gonna call it a fuchsia flusher. I would need something to carry the mixture in. I don't want to walk around with the whole mixer. Wow, the fuchsia flusher looks perfect for the magenta slot. Hmm, black, check. Cyan, check. Magenta, check. Yellow, empty. Mustard is yellow. Sure. Hmm. Black, check. Cyan, check. Magenta, check. Yellow, check. Hmm. Black, check. Cyan, check. Magenta, check. Yellow, check. Nice. The printer is ready for business. OK, let's print that job application. Sending to printer. And done. Nice. Now all I need is for a current or former employer to sign up as a referee. One very fine looking application for the job as a shop assistant. It still needs to be signed by a current or former employer though. An impossibly complicated computer stick contraption. Probably filled to the brim with super scary viruses.
Would you mind signing this job application as a reference? Door, didn't you just start working here? I did, but you know me, man about town and all that. I can totally hold down two jobs. I guess. But a word of advice, if you're really going to work at that corner shop, keep an eye on that blonde kid. I could never quite put my finger on it, but there's some kind of bad mojo around that one. Bad mojo? Noted. Thanks, boss. Hey, Julia. Hey, Clute. Hi, Lenny. I've got that job application signed and everything. job application. Please hold. You still there, Lenny? Hmm. You really didn't have to print this thing in colour, you know. Anyway. Welcome aboard, Clue. You are now officially part of Team Lenny. Go, Team Lenny! Go, Team Lenny! Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, what does it mean to be part of Team Lenny? Well, here's what you got to know. Whenever something happens around here, make sure to refer to it as happening in Aisle 1. Everything happens in Aisle 1. Got it. Other than that, just follow the instructions of the first shop assistant. Does he have a name, that guy? We just call him Kid around here. He's a tad on the grumpy side, but he's a real artist when it comes to using that mop. Hey, boss kid. Ah, lonely subordinate Clute. Reporting for duty. Do you need me to do anything? Well, just keep an eye on things. I'll let you know when I need you. Okie dokie. What are you working on there? Oh, nothing special. Just trying to learn AI programming so that I can one day build robots to conquer the world. Oh. That kid is definitely up to no good. Should I maybe find a way to put an end to his AI studies? Okay, so I've got this itch, but if I don't think about it, it shouldn't really be able to bother me, right? Only it does bother me. Like, so much. I don't suppose you can... Gah, this chump needs to go! I think I'm going to hang on to it. Oh, uh, I'm just going out on an errand. 
I'll be back, though. This is Lenny speaking. Could someone inform the new employee in I-1 that Team Lenny is very disappointed? Thank you. Oops, that was clumsy of me. This is Lenny speaking. There's been an incident in aisle one. Staff to aisle one. Staff to aisle one. Bring them up, please. Thank you. Lonely subordinate Clute. Clute, where are you at? Clute? I'll do it myself, then. And of course, it's always that same one floor tile. I think something like that would be better left to an employee. I hope this doesn't go against the spirit of Team Lenny or anything. Better not leave it in for too long. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, the taking over the world part. What the? Crapotulus! What the f is going on here? What just happened? Suddenly, the whole laboratory just disappeared. Not a trace of any agents or anything. It's like this whole Pythonic Empire thing never happened. Hey, lowly subordinate Clute. Yes, boss kid. You wouldn't happen to know why the computer suddenly got infected with an insane amount of viruses, would you? Right after I saw you fiddling with it? Oh, I was just making sure you weren't using spaces instead of tabs. Spaces instead of tabs, huh? Interesting. Very interesting. Hey, Clute, I've got a little job for you. That empty freezer needs a good scrubbing. Would you mind going over it and scrubbing every inch of it? from the inside. Okie doke, boss kid. It's locked. Hey, I think there's something big frozen in there.
Looks like this place has been flooded. Poor Bob. Nothing. I guess the power is long gone by now. I sure do miss holographic Bob. So, this poetry slam, it's uh, on, yes? Any minute now, Serge. We just need a few more contenders. Pfft, contenders. You know Serge will just crush them, right? Crush them like I always do. I know, I know. I scoff at these so-called poets. They are just lambs to the slaughter to Serge, n'est-ce pas? I hear you, Serge. Hey, you. How did you end up here? I would need something to carry it in. I'm not sure it would be any better off in a dry fish bowl, in fact. It almost seems even crueler. One thing's for sure, I'm not coming out that way. Oh, crap. If that's who I think it is, looking at him makes me feel really guilty. Judging by the smell of things, he still has that tin of sardines in his belly. I can't help but feel at least partially responsible for his destiny. Sorry for that, old friend. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold it right there, mate. You leave Bones alone, you hear? Ain't no way you're gonna do something like that with my buddy Bones. Not while I'm still around, you hear? And I've got to say, that was a pretty monstrous thing of you to try. I mean, who does something like that? Hey, stranger. Did you also come here for the coin? Well, it's a long story. Hey, no worries. Plenty of coins for everyone. I'm salty, by the way. Justin. Nice to meet you. I filled my pockets to the brim already. It's a new day for salty. Who's your friend? Oh, Bones? We've just met. His breath might not be what you call minty fresh, but he's a really good listener. Do you know what caused that flood? I do. Care to tell me? Well, I saw this young lady about to throw some change in the fountain. Oh, you wouldn't remember the colour of her hair, would you? I'd say her hair was blue. Really? Blue as in cyan, more specifically? I suppose. Julia! So anyway, I told her, listen, there's so many coins down there that one might just cause the whole bottom to fall out. To which she replied, if that were the case, she would gladly surrender any claim over said coins to me. Huh. Hmm. A good, solid, and most of all, legally binding conversation. That's what we had up there. I don't suppose you would be interested in visiting the past, would you? You suppose right, stranger. The past is what it is. I'm more of a forward-looking fella myself. Could I interest you in a second chance at a brighter future? A better future, huh? Was Salty as a man of wealth? Keep talking, stranger. Well... There's this rodent-powered time machine next door, and I've got a rabbit that can take you straight to the future. A time machine, huh? Now, see, that's something you don't hear every day. Yeah, I guess a new start for me in my newfound fortune might sound kinda interesting. 
but to muster up the courage for a ride like that, I might just need one last taste of salt water. Salt water? Hmm? It used to be something of a vice of mine. You know, before I came into some money. I'm not saying I'm nervous or anything, but it's not every day that I must to take a ride in a rodent-powered time machine, if you know what I'm saying. I do, I do. Okay, I'll see what I can do. That's odd. For some reason, this place seems to still have some Pythonic stuff around. Strange how some Pythonic artifacts seem to have remained here. A rusty old pipe. Looks like stuff sometimes drips out of that pipe. There it is again. An accurate depiction of me falling for Julia. Actually, I'm pretty certain I'm gonna slip on that thing if I try picking it up. That's strange. Some kind of trophy just popped up in my inventory. The plaque reads, for outstanding cowardice in gameplay. Category, banana phobia. Signed, Dela. What? Just because I'm smart enough not to risk my life for a banana peel? Actually, I'm pretty... I don't seem to be able to access the mo... Looks like stuff sometimes... A rusty... Let's try something else. Nah. And now that I need it, the battery's flat. No surprise there. Let's try something else. Doesn't seem to work. Okay, one salt water coming right up. It's an empty, though snazzy looking warm kitten mug. A rusty old pipe. There's no way I'm touching that muddy puddle. There's no way... It's so cool to think that pipe goes all the way down to the sewers. Okay, one salt water coming right up. Got it! Uh, 
hey, I've got that salt water you asked for. Oh, boy. Okay, let me have a shot of that. Then I'll be ready to meet that new future. Now, I don't suppose you're going to do anything beastly to my pal Bones after I leave, right? No. Ah, good. Now, I do have your word on that, right? Okay. Excellent. We agree, then. Good luck, Salty. I know you're going to be fine out there in the future. Maybe there's a sequel in there somewhere. I would probably need a glass for that. If I need to empty this, I'd better use the sink instead. Got it! Okay. Come here, little buddy. Gotcha! If you can forgive me just this one last atrocity, old friend, then sorry to you too, Salty. Yikes! I can see actual crocodiles crawling around down there. A smelly old tin of Sammy's extra stinky sardines. I hate sardines. There's no way I'm opening this thing. Justin! Finally! Julia! Oh, uh... What? Mike the Bouncer was quite insistent that I remind you about some game of his that you borrowed. Oh? Huh? Do I still have that thing? Man, that was ages ago. But anyway... Don't worry. I'll find a way to cross that pit. Careful, Jules. As much as I'd like to see you again, 
there's some scary stuff living in that pit. Yeah, Oligarch enjoyed playing with this thing for all of five minutes or so. I think I'm going to hang on to it. Don't worry. I'll... Careful, Jules. That's not going to work. What's up, Mike? Hey, I'm still waiting for Jim. Yeah, I'll tell him if I ever get hold of him. Hands off, girl with blue air. That's the poem that will win this air poetry slam. And its poetic power is best measured on a scale nuclear. Let me guess. You're a poet, right? Well, I am the arbiter of the angst most existential. The bringer of the poetic justice to all those who oppose me in battle. Armed with poetic license to kill, thrill, and, yes, then some still. In short, I am Serge. Julia. So, is that your poem on the table? Oui. And when Serge does battle, he don't bring no duds. He brings verbal jewels of a quality most supreme, n'est-ce pas? You might say I pack the poetical heat. You look like you could use another drink. Well, red wine is indeed the lifeblood of my muse. Hey, bartender, another bottle of uh, lifeblood, uh, merci. Hmm. What now? Mille tonnerre! Are you calling me a chicken, girl with blue hair? And what exactly am I supposed to be afraid of then, eh? Well, I'm not really sure. It's not totally clear to me why I did that, to be honest. You are being very childish. Very childish indeed, girl with blue hair. You look like you could use another drink. Hey, bartender. Another bottle of uh, lifeblood, uh, merci. Hmm. What now? Nice. I replaced it with that awful poem that Justin wrote. Eh? What was that? Oh, nothing. I was just rehearsing my poem. Pfft. Waste of time, girl with blue hair. Waste of time. Later, Serge. It's the poem I swiped from Serge, The Seagull Heart, Fragments of a Love Forlorn. Poetry slam, huh? Count me in. Doubtful. You're saying you've got some good material? Oh, I've got the winning poem right here. Hmm. Let's find out. Thank you, thank you. Now, defending his championship title, the master, the poetic powerhouse, our reigning poetic patron, Serge! Merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup.
I present to you my latest work of passion. Fresh from the fiery pencil of Serge. Miltonnerre! Serge, he has been a victim of a sabotage. Problem, Serge? No, no, monsieur. Uh, maybe with my uh, superior freezing, I can win this still. <clears throat> Julie, Julie, don't be so cruelly. Mm -hmm. Come back to Justine, the one to put your... Yes? Trust in. Oh, golly. How far the mighty have fallen. Hey, make the bouncer. I've got some rubbish that needs thrown out over here. And now, someone who assures me she has brought some dynamite poetry for you all. I give you Julia. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh-oh. Problem? Well, my hands are a bit sweaty. Some of the ink has gotten a bit smudged. I guess I'm going to have to wing it a bit now and then. You better sort this out, Julia. I don't suffer fools on my stage, you know. <clears throat> I give you the seagull heart. Fragments of a love forlorn. The sea may be green, the sea may be blue, like a man made of Velcro. I'm sticking to you. As I ponder your beauty, your beauty divine, am I too late? No. Just in time. Lost in a sea of scones and of brie, I gather my bearings and... reach for my tea. I wrote you a letter, my precious and frail. Love may be blind. So I wrote it in Braille. Well, what do you know? We have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad, Julia. Now enjoy the reward. One small bunch of monies. Thanks. I bet that will come in handy. So, that pet carrier. Real beauty, am I right? I'll let it go for. One small bunch of money! Sorry, got a little carried away there. Okay, enjoy this small bunch of monies. Deal! Oh, and by the way, all sales are final. That has a nasty ring to it, the way you say it. Okay, oligarch, in the carrier you go. No, don't make a fuss. 
Gotcha. Oligarch, my beautiful little cuddle monster. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. These rats think they're so tough. Wait till they get a look at my fierce little tiger. Okay, do your thing, oligarch. Make mummy proud. Oligarch, come back this instant. They're not that scary looking. Ish. I guess maybe Oligarch isn't quite the fierce tiger I was hoping for here. And now I've got to find him before I can do anything. But I don't think he's got very far. Oh, Oligarch, come down. I don't see how that could work. An earring with a hook. Et voila! Sorry, doesn't work. I really feel I should get little Ollie back before I go down there. I think I can see water moving down there. Oh, and also a banana peel at the edge of a cliff. Okay, let's lower this thing down and hope something comes up. Hmm, looks like someone is fishing for something. Let's try something else. Hmm, the tin is all oily and stinks of sardines. This is going to take all my ring tossing skills. I caramba! Well, at least it scared those rats away. Got something for you. Here's some extra stinky sardines for you. Gotcha. Ouch. Those edges are sharp. Oligarch, my beautiful little cuddle monster. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Looks pretty solid. I bet it could hold a person's weight. Hmm. Hang on, Justin. Eh, uh, you're not about to do anything rash now, are you? Well, I thought I might, actually. Piece of cake. Oh, Julia. Reunited at last, huh? I guess my invitation got lost in the post. Will you guys stop looking so surprised? I survived, okay? So, what happened? Well, as I saw my empire being swept into oblivion before my very eyes, 
Mm -hmm. It occurred to me that there might just be a way to save both this version of myself and the means to reverse this little coup of yours. But how? Will you stop interrupting me? I'm obviously getting to the how. I figured that if I wrapped myself and this whole cave in a chrono pocket, I should have everything I need. A chrono pocket? Yeah, a great Pythonic invention. Patent applied for and everything. Well, at least it used to be. So, this pocket thingy kept you safe? Oh yes, it shields whatever is inside from any temporal disturbance outside the pocket. I see. But now that your empire has been thwarted and everything, I'm sure you've seen the light, yes? Eh, there's a light? Sorry? What light would that be? Well, the one that inspires you to do good now that you know better. To work for the benefit of your fellow men and all that. Oh, sorry, no. <laughs> it's full speed ahead on enslaving the world again, I'm afraid. Oh. But how do you plan to get your empire back? Well, that's just it, you see. I just need to know exactly what you guys did to stage this little coup of yours. And then travel back in time and make sure to stop it. Should be easy peasy, provided I have the right information. I see. Actually, I'm a little sketchy on the details, to be honest. Save your breath, kid. I picked this place and time because I figured it's where you would both meet up. Not to mention, it also houses an Interotron device. And before you ask, yes, it's fully powered up too. Oh, crap. So, tell me how it happened. How did you guys cheat me of my empire? So, anyway. You're trying to figure out which one is my favorite Rush album, am I right? No! Gah. It's not Permanent Waves, is it? It is! Ha! You know, we're almost having a moment here. Yeah, totally. But now, back to the interrogation session. So what's that round hole on your stomach for? Oh, that thing. That's just for air conditioning purposes. Really? Is there a lot of room in there? Well, there might be some extra room to make the Patriarch look a wee bit more intimidating, yeah? Ah, I see. You try being the patriarch of an evil empire and see how long it takes you to start looking for some intimidating body armor. What's with all the Python stuff in your empire? Well, that's how I won my empire, through the Python programming language. I see. I kind of like saying that. Pythonic. Can we move on, please? Okay, let's get on with the interrogation. Yes, tell me how you managed to overthrow my empire. Now! Good air conditioning is an important part of any mechanical suit. On this we agree, time traveler. The ribcage of that skeleton looks strange somehow. I wonder what happened there. Hang on, Justin. I'll figure something out. If possible, could you try and make it sooner rather than later? Hmm. Let's see just how sharp those edges are. Nice! Got to be some pretty old coffee in there. Looks messy. 
just an old pipe. It's a good thing that it's there, considering that banana peel. Nah, I wouldn't want to slip on that thing. That's odd. Some kind of trophy just popped up in my inventory. The plaque reads, For outstanding cowardice in gameplay. Category, Bananaphobia. Signed, Dayla. What? That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Yep, those are actual crocodiles down there. So you managed to break free, huh? So what? Big whoop. To be honest, I don't think Justin knows as much about all this as you think. I'll be the one to determine that. Thank you very much. What's that hole in your armor? Oh, that thing. That's just for air conditioning purposes. Air conditioning? Yeah, I need clean air to make walking around in this thing half bearable. You see, this armored suit is a little larger than what my physique actually demands. I can pretty much fit in the torso part. Oh, I see. You try being the patriarch of an evil empire and see how long it takes you to start looking for some intimidating body armor. So you're that kid from the corner shop, huh? I may come from humble beginnings, but I built myself an empire, laying down the law through my superior AI-driven agents. What did you guys ever do, huh? Talking corner shop days with me. Thanks for the chat, I guess. Whatever. I guess I caused that. In any event, I'm not about to leave Justin alone with this guy. The rib cage of that. Hang on, Justin. I'll figure something out. If possible. Could you try and make it sooner rather than later? Oligar! Looks kind of hollow in there. I think Oligarch would fit in there, but he wouldn't go in there unless there was something in there that he really wanted. Those aren't going to work together. I think Oligarch would fit in there, but he wouldn't go in there unless there was something in there that he really wanted. An earring tied to a ball of yarn. I bet this would be great for really adventurous moves. Yep, those are actual crocodiles down there. I don't see how that could work. I'm not touching that muddy puddle. I don't seem to be able to access the microwave at the moment. Nah. Doesn't seem to work. To get the mouse to go in there, there would have to be something it wants in there first. Hey, you guys smell something? I'm having a bit of an air conditioning emergency here. Holy crapodulous, that's a potent stench. But it's okay, I can keep it together.
little buddy. I know you like mouldy cheese. Go get it, boy. Whoa, something tickles. Is there something else inside this thing as well as me? I'm really struggling to keep control of the suit here. But it's okay. I can keep my cool. Just about. How's it going? Well, you know, just interrogating your boyfriend, getting my empire back and all that. Thanks for the chat, I guess. <sighs> Whatever. Go get that little mouse, Ollie. What the? What just happened? Preportulous! I'm losing motor control! Hey guys, I don't know how you compromised my suit, but I know you're both behind this somehow. And just so you know, my revenge will be... unlike anything you could ever imagine! Now, if everyone could just calm down for a moment... Atta boy, oligarch. I knew you would jump out just in time. Yeah. Way to go, Ollie. So, want to help me out with this thing? Jules? Sure. There's just something I'd like to try before that. Uh-oh. So, we're really doing this, huh? Well, I figure that while you're still in that thing, we might as well make the most of it. Sure. I guess. The device is set to auto. I think that means it will let us know whenever you're not being honest. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. Let's go. Okay. So tell me, after all we've been through, how do you feel about me? Well, you know, right? Holy moly! Ouch. I think that means you weren't being honest. Right. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. So, how do you feel about me, Justin? So, how do you figure Salty got past that jumping alligator anyway? Ouch! Yeah, maybe we should stop this? No, 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 no. Let's try it one last time. All right. So, for the last time, Justin, how do you feel about me? I love... You, Julia. I love you, Julia. I love you too, Justin. Hey, I did it. I finally said it, Jules. You did, Justin. All it took was a few electric shocks and an interrogation device. But yeah, you finally managed to say it.
Attention all shoppers. This is Benny. It seems like some sort of rodent has been chewing on a cable in aisle one, causing one of the freezers to lose power. But we'll get that sorted in no time. Thank you. Whoa, how long was I out for? Hi there, I'm Clute. Welcome, Clute. Anything I can help you with? Well... I guess a lot of things have changed, huh? Well, we have been redecorating the tablet shells. And that bozoid plant is kinda new. Thanks for noticing. Yeah, no problem, Benny. The weather's looking pretty good. Oh, yes. It's pretty great out there. I think I'll be on my way, then. Okie dokie. Do you mind if I bring Smiley? Who? That magnet on your freezer. We've been hanging out for a long time. Oh, you go right ahead, Clute. Thanks. Time to go, buddy.
I just had an odd feeling that something just popped up in someone else's inventory. 